What's up guys, it's your boy Flat6. We're back at it. Today I got my Jeep Commander. This is my daily driver. Um, it's got a high idle right now. It's had some problems in the past with just idling and I'm gonna go ahead and replace the idle air control valve. So if this is something you're having a problem with, stick around. First, I'm gonna just get the uh, intake hose off. And pop this in, push the tab in, pull out the air box and air filter. This one got a botched job, right? Plug homie right here. Pull up, pull up. All right, cool, back at it. And we're gonna take that off to 10 mil. I can't tell you. One clamp on the back side there, hose clamp, gotta get. My mom was pretty, pretty, whoa. My mom was pretty tough to get off, but we're gonna go ahead and unplug these two sensors. And this is without them changing. Now that these are unplugged, we're gonna go ahead and unscrew this. There's one T25, I believe. Screw. This is the part right here. Now that we have the old one off, we're going to go ahead and put this in. All right, guys, so the new part's in. I had a little bit of trouble getting it into the spot. I used some white lithium grease to help me slide it in. Otherwise, it just wasn't having it. This is my uh, camera died on me, but I'm back to it. Um, got the sensor plugged in in the back, and I got those two plugs plugged in right on top. I'm just putting back this intake manifold. I'm going to plug in this clip. Um, do the other bolt on the other side, put the intake back on, and cross my fingers. So here it is, guys. I put the intake hose back on, the box, air filter, tightened up the clamps, clamp back there, two plugs back there, another plug here. Let's see what happens. All right, she started right up. It's a little cold should drop down that perform service light is not new so all right guys so there it is i went ahead and replaced the valve that's back there and um it's idling pretty good right now I drove it around a little bit already and i can tell you that she's running well so far i'll try to remember to post an update to this video a little while down the road and let you know if the problem went away or not this is my 07 Jeep Commander, 4.7. Thanks for watching guys, hope it helped. And if any of you happen to be interested, uh, this page started with my Subaru and it's gone from there. So subscribe for more content if you like stuff like that. Taking on some adventures with this thing. You never know what we're up to around here. Flat six out, see ya.